Instruments must be cleared of residual matters such as blood, tissue, and mineral deposits before sterilization. We recommend using an ultrasound cleaner and an enzymatic cleaning solution immediately after use. Instruments to be sterilized must be free from all residual matters such as blood or organic tissue. Some benefits of sterilization medical equipment include it eliminates pus, blood, foreign particles, and dirty left behind that could lead to danger and complication to the next patient required surgery, where the medical practice use the instrument. It decreases bioburn, the number of non sterilized bacteria living on the surface. It prevents the cohesion of expensive and high precise tools that have delicate pivots. And it removes the breeding ground of the surviving germs. It ensures the safe transport of equipment needing to be packed and assembled for sterilization or disinfection. First, steam sterilization. Most sterilized process in the department have a steam sterilization called autoclaves. This is because the steam can clean many common medical devices and is typically the safest and cheapest option. This key principle of steam sterilization as a complement in autoclave is to expose each agent to direct steam contact at the required temperature and pressure for a specific time. Thus, there are four parameters of steam sterilization steam, pressure, temperature, and time. Second, dry heat sterilization. When steam cannot penetrate the instrument or it can destroy it, your next logic option is a dry heat. Dry heat is a strong but slow technique required high temperatures and time because of this is not suitable for many metres. But it's often still more relieved than other very options. Dry heat sterilization uses air around 340 degrees Fahrenheit to kill microbial life. Chemical sterilization. Prepared chemical solutions are involved in this process. Some chemicals often used in sterilization are ozone, ethylene, oxide, hydrogen, peroxide, bleach. These chemicals have the power to kill a broad range of pathogens and have properties that could be harmful to humans. You are submerged the equipment into the prepared chemical completely for a certain amount of time until the pathogen dies. Once it's sterilized, rings of the equipment and allow is to dry. Chemical sterilization is suitable for biological materials, fiber option and other high heat sensitive materials. Chemical sterilization can be gas sterilization or liquid sterilization. Plasma gas sterilizer. This type of sterilization uses low temperature hydrogen dioxide based gas plasma inside the chamber to keep any microorganisms or dental or medical equipment, including spores, bacteria, fungi, and virus. When you added vaporized hydrogen peroxide to a chamber, it sterilizes the enclosed equipment. Once you remove the vapor from the chamber, it produces a plasma of a lower temperature, which ensures total sterilization for equipment. Oxygen and water are the remind of this process and make this sterilization safe for the both environment and medical staff. While it's on one more costly method, it's extremely effective and an excellent option for medical equipment and tools that are most sensitive. Vaporized hydrogen peroxide sterilizers. Like the plasma sterilization, you also use hydrogen peroxide vapor sterilizers, but you don't use plasma gas when we think the sterilization process. Vaporized hydrogen peroxide sterilization removes humidity from within an enclosure in a generator helps injection, vaporous hydrogen peroxide to reach an ideal concentration for sterilizing equipment. Microorganisms that could be present are removed effectively by the vapors, sterilizing the enclosure. The, the process is then reversible by the generator, which breaks down the vapor into eco-friendly elements. Vaporous hydrogen peroxide sterilization has a low cycle time which results in having the capability to sterilize high volume batches of equipment.